Today we join our Holy Father Pope Francis in prayer for a peaceful resolution to the situation in Ukraine. Looking upon the imminent threat, he rightly pointed out that the security of mainland Europe and indeed the world are threatened at this very moment. He urged world leaders to seek solutions that are based not on partisan concerns, but upon the common brotherhood of the human race. For our Ukrainian Catholic Church, it was so uplifting to have the Holy Father call for this worldwide appeal for prayer, because we know that prayer can break down steel doors and break the chains. We have tremendous solidarity with our Knights of Columbus in Ukraine. We have 1,800 members of the Knights of Columbus and 40 councils. And what we're doing today really is an expression of our solidarity with them. Our growth in Ukraine over the last decade really shows the tremendous unity and fraternity that characterizes the order. It was just such an honor to come here to New Haven, where the relics of Blessed Michael McGivney are venerated today. He was somebody that had a heart for the poor and those who were suffering and those who were marginalized. Like so many, many of our people today are in Ukraine who are living in that war zone. And I'm sure that he's interceding on the behalf, especially on behalf of the Knights of Columbus in Ukraine at this moment. We pray by God's grace and will that the angel of peace and that the mother of God would protect Ukraine and protect our brother knights there on the line and their families. So in a special way, we offer them our prayers, our solidarity and our solicitude from the tomb of Blessed Michael. Blessed Michael, pray for us and pray for Ukraine.